Hi guys, here what you see is a BLDC motor from an old photocopy machine. You can see the label behind it is uh, all uh, ruptured. It is DC 24 volts and 2.7 amps made in China. So uh, actually this motor is uh, not working. So I'm going to convert this motor into a generator. You can see that the PCB beneath this metal piece is completely broken. The driver is broken. So I'm going to open it up and convert it into a generator and not just a generator i'm going to convert it into a low rpm geared generator brushless like a hand crank generator so let's start with cleaning it up and then desoldering these wires and uh, proceeding with that so guys the step one is to remove all the solder wires that you see on this broken pcb So guys here as you can see that the PCB board has got completely removed although this metal piece uh, has got uh, a little bit curved because of the hammering so I have to straighten it up back again so let's do that. Yeah I think it's working fine now so let's connect uh, the wires. So guys here as you can see there are four wires first one is this second one is this third is this and fourth one is this one the fourth one is the thickest one because it is the central tapping point for the star connected winding of this motor so no uh, connection of wires will be done to this one only for this one this one and this one will be connected to these three wires okay so let's do that okay First wire has connected, second, second is also connected, third, 
third is also connected now the fourth one that is left is not needed so guys here as you can see it has connected pretty good so let's isolate them with insulation So yeah guys here as you can see that the insulation has established pretty good now guys let's connect all the phases to uh, this multimeter to check if uh, it is working normally as a generator since it is going to produce AC, so pointing it towards 200 volts AC mode. Keep watching the multimeter screen. Yeah, so guys, it is generating electricity. Two phases are fine. Let's check this one. Yeah, this one is also fine. Now let's finally connect the gearbox. So guys here as you can see that uh, the generator has uh, finally completed I will uh, light it up a little bit yeah you can see the gearing system one is the plastic and other is the metal one from this VLDC motor and it is perfectly aligned okay and this is the final shaft coming out from the open gearbox type hand crank generator yeah it's working pretty good considering that uh, this setup is not on bearings although it is a little difficult to rotate it from the shaft because of the gear box so anyways these are the three wires and uh, this is uh, the crank that i'm going to use to run it okay so let's connect this yeah so this has got connected let's try it Yeah, running pretty good, right? Yeah, alignment is really good. Let's measure uh, the voltage of this generator. So it is going to be AC. So guys as you can see that only two wires are connected and one has been left open because this meter can measure only single phase AC. So leaving the third one behind and 
measuring with only two terminals yeah hand crank generator voltage reached somewhere around 4.5 volts maximum okay now let's connect a three phase rectifier to this generator and then measure the voltage although because of the rectifiers and diodes there will be uh, the forward voltage drop uh, which is 0.7 volts per diode because of which uh, the generated final voltage might be even lower than it is uh, generating or showing on this display screen right now so anyways let's give it a try and then see what happens so guys this is a three phase rectifier 64 amps from a car alternator so i'm going to connect this one to this generator hand crank now the three colored terminals white blue and red will be connected to all the three wires of this generator let's remove these Now guys all three wires from the generator have been connected to the three phase rectifier now all is now all that is left is to connect uh, the meter at the output terminals of this rectifier so i'm going to do that and now i'm going to point it towards the dc mode because it is being converted to dc right now red for positive of course and always black for negative okay so with that being done let's start the testing the uh, the generated voltage was 5.18 volts at uh, the max and guys one more thing with the three phase rectifier connected to the generator now i can also measure the generated current so let's measure that so as we know that the voltage was 5.18 volts let's see what the current is yeah it was somewhere around 2.45 amps now let's connect some actual load to this three phase rectifier output terminals Okay, so for that I'm going to use this 12 volts car indicator bulb. So yeah, with all that being done, let's try and blow this. So guys, now I have turned off the lights to see the illuminance better than before. Let's turn it now. So this is the max that I could get out from this bulb. Now guys, although the generator is working fine, but the voltage is not good enough to operate some serious loads. So for that, I'm going to increase or step up the voltage from the rectifier with the help of this DC to DC boost converter. Now this is the input side and this is the output side. So to the input side and a red, I'm going to connect uh, the red terminal of the output of rectifier. And to the blue one, I will connect the black terminal blue being the negative here and black being the negative of the rectifier so yeah with that being done let's test the output voltage now okay so guys let's test the generated voltage now yeah it went up to 30 volts easy hand rotation And we can manage the output voltage, converted voltage with the help of this blue potentiometer. This one. Now guys, here as you can see, I have connected this 84 LEDs panel. And I'm going to glow this 12 volts 84 LED panel with this generator. Okay, so let's start cranking. So yeah. So guys, this was all about the video on how to make a geared hand crank low RPM generator from an old photocopy machine motor. 
brushless BLDC motor.